Smith & Wesson M&P 40 caliber. With a 15 plus 1 round capacity in free states, this Zytel polymer frame double stack pistol is a beauty. It weighs 24 and a quarter ounces and is 5 and a half inches tall by 1.2 inches wide by 6.4 inches long. Founded in 1852, Smith & Wesson has a long history of producing some of America's finest firearms. The M&P 40 was introduced in 2005 and has been adopted by the DEA and by more than 276 police departments. What we have here today is the Smith & Wesson M&P 40. This, this version is completely stock. The only thing that we have added is the Talon grips to give it a little bit more uh, surface. I, I pretty much put Talon grips on every gun I can. If, if it's available, I buy it and put it on there. But besides the Talon grips, everything is completely stock. The, the gun that we'll be shooting today is stock. We'll roll in a few other guns uh, that aren't stock, but um, just to give you a little comparison, uh, but this one is completely stock. This gun is very suited to pretty much every category except for concealed carry. I would not necessarily recommend this gun for concealed carry. It's a little heavy, it's a little big. Uh, but every other category, whether it be law enforcement, personal security, home defense, range gun, uh, plinking gun, anything you can think of, this gun does and does well. Um, the, the, the area that I see it doing really really well in is a go to war gun. This is this is a gun that if if everything has gone to crap and and you need a gun that's going to be reliable, the Smith and Wesson's going to be your gun. So for the ergonomics of this gun, when you put it in your hand, it just feels good. It feels right. Your point of aim when when you bring the gun up is right where you want it to be. Um, I don't know that I've ever put this gun in someone's hand and them say that they didn't like it. There's three different back straps you can put on here to kind of customize it to your hand. Um, it just feels good. The the whole gun, the all the rounded surfaces, um, especially with that talon grip in there. We've got a few talon um, spots up front to, to get your hand, get your fingers and thumbs in the right spot. It's, it's a really, really comfortable gun. Um, the the slide serrations are done very very well um you really you know they'll tear you up if you're if you're not careful they're not too sharp but, but when you grab it and rip it back whether you've got gloves on um or it's wet you're going to be able to to rack the slide um, it makes it a lot easier for smaller shooters to be able to to get a good grip on it and and pull it back there's no front serrations which i know some people will would want that um, but overall the ergonomics are great getting to the trigger of the gun which is to me is one of the most important parts of the gun um, I mean if you've got a, a bad trigger on a gun you're not going to hit anything and so you know that's one of the things I really look for in a gun um, the trigger pull is is stock it's, it's not bad this is this is the stock trigger and uh, we we tested it it was hitting around 6.9 to 7 pounds and the thing I don't like about the trigger is you can see when I pull the trigger, there's a lot of take up and there's some grittiness that you feel. And then when you pull the trigger, there's a bunch of over travel. You, you're coming all the way back. You rack the gun and feel for that reset and then reset. So it's, it's not my favorite trigger in the world. Um, it's why I always go with the uh, Apex trigger. When I, when I get a new Smith & Wesson, I, I just go ahead and throw it in. Um, the forward set trigger, just like is on this gun. This is the uh, VTAC version. And I've got the Apex trigger with the forward set. It's it's a much better trigger. We'll, we'll do a separate video just on, on the trigger of these guns. Um, but it's not a bad trigger on the, the, st the stock gun. Um, it's not the best. All right, is it upgradable? Yes, it is. There's many things, there's many parts out there. A lot of people make different uh, different parts you can put inside this gun, which I really like. I like when you can kind of make it fit your needs better. Um, you can replace the, the sights. Um, everybody's got sights for them. Every, all the sight manufacturers, 
they're easy to get a hold of they're not hard to track down uh, trigger apex makes a trigger i'm sure there's a couple other companies <clears throat> out there that that make triggers for them um i've i've heard a lot of um people taking them to their gunsmith to get trigger jobs done on them i know that you can polish them up and and change out a few springs and and make it a, a better gun you've got talon grips that's it's a really really good add-on i mean if you're going to do one add-on to your mnp that's the very first thing i would do you're going to spend 18 dollars get a pair get a set of grips on there it's really easy to put on um there's all kinds of uh different back plates you can get if you want to if you like a crossing skull bone on your to make it look mean it's got a rail so you can throw on your laser your light whatever you choose i i personally like the viridian laser light combos um it's got a really really bright uh, flashlight it's got a really bright green laser which I like uh, there's there's a lot of things you can do to these guns there's a lot of options and uh, as far as upgradability it's it's there it's anything you want to do you can do you can swap out the barrels there's there's all kinds of fun stuff you can do with that all right we got the MMP 40 we're gonna do a field strip it's really easy to do all you do is wreck the slide back Check the chamber, see if that, that it's empty. Pull your magazine. And at this point, if you don't want to pull the trigger, um, they put a little tool in the back here where you can twist and pull out and you can decock the uh, striker. Um, I don't care. It doesn't bother me at all to pull the trigger. It's faster. Um, so all I do is pull the slide lever down, the takedown lever down. Um, release the slide pull the trigger it lets it roll forward and then we've got the the bottom half of the gun take the spring out guide rod barrel your field stripped so to reassemble the gun it's real easy just pop in the the barrel take your guide rod and spring pop it in Take the gun, slide it on the rails there. Make sure it goes up over that. Bring it back, lock it, put your lever back up, magazine back in, bring it forward, function check, there you go. These guns run anywhere from uh, 450 to 550. Um, to me, it's a, it's a high value gun. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of guns out there, uh, SIG PTG-9, uh, that you can get that are great guns, but you're going to spend a lot more. Um, there's a lot of guns like the Smith & Wesson Sigma that's a, a, a lot cheaper than this gun. Um, to me, this is right in the, in the, the good spot where it's worth the money, um, to me, it's worth even a little bit more money, so I think it's a high-value gun. Um, the for the the Sigma, for instance, um, the trigger on that I, I want to say it's like what forty pounds, and so when you compare that to to this trigger, you're getting a, a lot more gun. You're gonna want to shoot this. You're gonna want to practice with it. Um, you know, if you're if you're going to to choose a choose a gun. Um, for the first time, um, going with a Smith & Wesson MNP is going to be a great gun. If this is a gun that you're adding to the collection, um, this to me is one of those must-have guns, especially if you throw in the Apex trigger. It turns it into a whole new animal, and, and you know it'll be the gun that you always reach for to shoot. So, highly recommended here with the Gun Nerds. We love these things. Smith & Wesson MNP, um, their whole line is great. Um, this is a good gun to get.